And so Robin Hood is out with some news this afternoon in the wake of a young user's suicide recently. The popular trading platform is uh, now changing how, or I guess I should say tightening up its options platform. Jared Blickery has more of those details for us, Jared. That's right. And it really was tragic. Alex Kearns killed himself over the weekend uh, after discovering a negative $730,000 cash balances in, a, in his account. The tragedy is that he didn't owe that much or even anything close to it. He was in an options trade, has to do with the way it settled in a particular circumstance. He didn't understand it, and he admitted that in his uh, suicide note. And so Robin Hood is taking steps, and uh, not too quickly here, uh, but not soon enough, uh, to kind of curb these investor misunderstandings. A lot of their users are new traders, and we kind of joke, yeah, they're buying bankrupt stocks, but this is serious business. So the steps Robin Hood is taking here is, number one, eligibility for options trade. Uh, they're considering additional criteria and education for customers seeking level three options authorization. That's what uh, uh, Mr. Kearns had at the uh, time of his death and the way in which his trades were made. And the levels go up to number five. So you can be in a wide variety of different, I would say, degrees of sophistication. And you have to become certified in each one, demonstrate that you're competent in your trading in order to do that. So they're also going to increase educational resources. And they're saying that we are expanding our educational content related to options trading. We have added information on early options assignment, that's specific to this case, to our help center. And then the user interface, they're going to clean that up. They're saying in the near term, we're rolling out improvements to in-app messages and emails that we send customers about their multi-leg option spread. That was what the confusion was in the instant matter. Also adding detail in the in-app history page to help users understand the mechanics of early options assignments. And finally, they're donating uh, $250,000 to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and uh, that couldn't come soon enough either. So it's a really tragic case, but it's good to see that at least options traders at Robinhood are going to get a little bit more vetting and education, and hopefully that will expand to other areas as well, Shauna. Yeah, certainly a very tragic story, but it's good to see that Robinhood is taking some actions to address uh, some of the shortfalls. All right, Jared, thanks so much for bringing that to us.